yeah. when, when, while you were writing the book, um, I, I wrote quite a bit about the fact that we're living in the age of empathy. And, and a lot of leaders figured out, oh, I need to be more empathetic. And I'm really hopeful now that we're now that, you know, we're past the peak. I'll just leave it at that. We don't know really what the future holds, but we're past the peak of the pandemic anyway, that people will remember that. Right. And not lose that muscle that they strengthened, uh, if you will. So you have anything you would add to that? What's what's even more important than ever question? Well, well, let me illustrate this by a study we did. We so at Spencer Stewart, we work with boards to identify and recruit CEOs and top leaders. We took a look at the CEO specs, the position specifications from 10 years ago and from this last year. And we looked at what was very different and something accelerated to Darlene's point. What accelerated in the last year was the importance of purpose led leadership and empathy and, and transparency and authenticity. But purpose is something that everybody really wants to be a part of and, and buy into a, an organization or set of activities that they really believe in. But that went from, kind of a nice to have to the central aspect. And the reason why that's so important is in a virtual world, people are, their discretionary effort is what determines whether they and their organizations really thrive or just kind of go along. And without the combination of tapping into a deeper purpose and leading in a style that, hey, we're all in it together, being real, being empathetic, being a human and being honest and transparent, that's what leads leaders, allows leaders to tap into that discretionary effort where people are working remotely. So the purpose plus that authenticity and transparency has absolutely accelerated over the last year, what had been a slow build from 10 years ago. 